some tips for post decree modifications. Um, first thing that comes to mind when I'm when I think about post decree modifications are is know the law. There are certain elements in the law that preclude you from bringing um, modifications of parenting time. Um, you know, within two years of the last time that you tried to modify. There are certain exceptions as well when uh, there's uh, endangerment or imminent harm is being alleged. Um, the other thing for me, when I think about modifications of parenting time or post-decree modifications is to make sure that you're organized. If you just have a hunch that something isn't copacetic or if you don't have documentation, right? then you're really, one, you, you know, these are complex issues that you should use an attorney for. Two, if you don't have an organized kind of product that you're presenting to an attorney, it's kind of like dumping a bunch of boxes of tax documents uh, with a CPA. It's not organized, you're gonna end up paying someone a lot of money to get it organized before you can even analyze the situation. So we ask clients all the time, you know, if you're not ready, get yourself ready. Right? If you're trying to modify something after a decree is, has been entered, then there has to be, typically speaking, a significant change, right? Or something that is long-term that you've been working on for a while or something has been, it's not something that's just happened instantaneously. So document everything. Make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. Um, if it's for a uh, parenting time change, for example, what we tell our clients is, Make sure that you have the dates. Make sure you have a calendar. Like, you know, if it's a 50-50 parenting agreement and um, he hasn't, uh, you know, taken the children for more than, you know, five days a month over the course of, you know, six months or, you know, in the communications. Or if he even said, hey, look, uh, I'm going to agree to this now, right? Those are things that you want in writing. So, like... If you're organized and you just kind of think with some common sense, then you're going to be in a better situation than if you just come to an attorney or try to do yourself going in and modifying something just based on a whim. You, you have, oftentimes you have limited chances. So, and, and your time frame has to be tight. So don't waste the opportunity by not being organized.